Okay, so right now uh, in this topology, it's the topology which I shared to you yesterday. Okay, I'm using the same topology uh, with the four router which has shared the topology which is connected for the Palo Alto firewall. So now uh, in this uh, topology, I'm using just three routers. Okay, just uh, just right click and just start it. The same thing for all the routers, so it takes time to start. The other reason I'm starting right now. Okay, so right now uh, I have on all the four devices. Okay, the connectivity how it I have connected. So I have connected one of the management main uh, for cloud and uh, the Palo Alto firewall. This is 9000 series, the latest firewall, and this is a Cisco uh, CSR 1000B router. This is advanced router, all same router I'm using it. Okay. So now uh, how to open means just uh, click on the icon. So it will ask you to open the uh, Telnet SSH or our login. It still is loading, you can see, right? So now we can able to log in, guys. So let me log in. The password is admin admin, but default password I have given. my password. Okay, guys. Uh, actually, I forgot the password. Then uh, later on, I remember. Now we can be able to log in your uh, Palo Alto firewall, guys, as we can see on the screen. So I can be able to log in. You can be able to see, right, guys? Yes, can you able to see or not? Yes, yes coach. Okay. So right now we are into your this privilege mode.
Okay, let me open the topology which I shared to you yesterday. So today we are going to discuss like uh, the basic configuration of the firewall. At the same time, we'll configure how we'll uh, give the IP address for your all the PCs and we'll create some loopbacks. OK, so how to log in means here. Uh, if you want to know the uh, information of this thing here, uh, show system information. So it will show you the what is IP address of this Palo Alto firewall I have given. Right. So we can see this is my IP address, which I have uh, given like 192.168.0.7.75. My default gateway is saying 0 0.1, 192.168. Uh, static, I have assigned it. Fine, so we can see the statically, I have assigned it. So now how to enter into your global configuration mode is you have to configure, give the configure. If you type only configure config team is here, it will not work. OK, so here better to because you know this is a uh, like virtual uh, Palo Alto firewall uh, software base. The other reason here is allowing if you access the real device, you should type completely. OK, so now I can able to uh, enter into the Palo Alto firewall guys. Fine, so once it has been done, so what are the basics configurations we need to log in? You, can you tell me what is IP address of this uh, Palo Alto firewall? OK, so the same time, so before going for that, let me check uh, so whether I can able to access the GUI based guys. Please pay some attention guys. Uh, so we are doing the sessions for the Palo Alto. The IP address which I shared to you guys. Suppose if I type the same command, you can see uh, show system information. It will not show you. You can see right show system informations. It will not show you because we are into the global configuration mode. OK, if you want to see the system information, OK, First, we had to exit. So then show system information. Then it will show you the IP address what I have given to you. So 192.168.0.75. Okay, 0.75 is the Palo Alto IP address which I have assigned. The gateway is 0 0.1. The gateway is 0 0.1. So how to Right now we have enter into the CLI mode, right? Right. So let me check the GUI base can can be able to log in. OK, uh, let me open the one more browser here and give the IP address of the Palo Alto. I think this is uh, 75. The 75, what is my IP address is the my Palo Alto IP address. We can see. This is my Palo Alto IP address, which I have assigned in your browser. OK, at the same time, OK. Uh, this all information we can see about the uh, details of the uh, Palo Alto firewall. Okay, so let me open and press this page. Okay, so let's do some uh, show device host Palo Alto information and comment. So here it will show you the list of uh, like how to check the interface. Like, like show IP interface in uh, router and uh, firewall, right? In the Cisco, how we are checking the interface details. Show IP interface brief, right? Right. So here uh, we should type, okay? Uh, how to change the host name? 
here the host name changing is uh, a little bit different. How we'll change a, a IP address like host name? Just we are entering to the global configuration mode. Okay, then host name and give the your uh, name of the router, right? So here how to change means, okay, set, okay, device configure system, okay, then host name. So I'll give uh, Palo Alto, Palo Alto FW, Palo Alto Firewall. So once it has taken right. So here thing is guys, we should remember whenever you give the new command to the firewall, especially for the Palo Alto Firewall, you should save. Then only it will accept it. To save the Palo Alto, uh, firewall means we should give commit. Okay. So it's going to save your this Palo Alto file name. Right now, the Palo Alto file name is admin at PAVM, what I have given. So now I have changed to oh, Palo Alto firewall. Right. So it's changing, we can see, right? 55% uh, is getting changed. Let open this guy. Okay, so now it has been changed, right? Like admin at uh, Palo Alto. So admin is your uh, this thing you can see, right? The admin what you are seeing there. Okay, that is admin and password I have given like in my name. Okay. So this is how we have to change your host name. Okay, now we have to create the interface management profile here. Okay, for your just I want to check the connectivity, whether it is connected or not. Before uh, giving the ping ping issues, we should give the networking. The command is set network profile. Set profile interface management profile. So I will give my name. Okay. So I am allowing for the ping. Yes. You have to type yes. Let me make it big. Okay, this has changed the this thing. After that, again we should give the commit every time if you want to see the information, right? Uh, commit. We should give the commit. So commit job three in process. Use control C to return to the command prompt. Okay. So if you want to, we can use the continuous. It will save. No problem. Okay. Uh, let it complete the hundred percent. Right, so let me show you exit from here, then show system. So here also we'll get help guys. That is uh, same thing like uh, how in uh, system info. So we can see uh, the host name is Palo Alto Firewall. The IP address and public IP, uh, I have not given any public IP. Okay, submit mass is 255. You can see, right? 255.255.0 and gateway is 192.168.0.1. So statically, I have assigned the IP address. So IPv6, I have not assigned. And this is the MAC address of my firewall. Uh, and when it has been started, like Wednesday, September 14. So 3 9, I have started. So uptime, zero day. Means today I have started at 14.41. So it will take your system time. Okay, so model is here uh, PAVM and serial is unknown, which I not assigned. 
Okay, so uh, let's jump to the year. Some other informations like. So how to set the password? Because you know, password uh, is here is very complicated to give the password command. So uh, set the password, it lasts you the password because password I have given already. The command is just set password. Okay, if you type enter, it will ask you the old password and we can change the new password. Okay, I don't want to give the any new password. Uh, okay, that will do it uh, when when you have the lab access. So most probably will will you will also get the lab access. Okay, now how to configure the IP address on the Palo Alto interface, right? This is challenging, right? Okay, so now configure. Okay, so the hash symbol, what, what we see, where we can enter your all the policies, command, security, all those things. Guys, are you following me all? Is this my audible for you all, right? Okay, so how to check, guys? Okay, you can see uh, how to check the all the interfaces. Okay, so I'll tell you the command uh, how to uh, show set. Uh, sorry, show network. It gives a question mark. Okay, so it will show you the all the details like interface, Ethernet, okay, Ethernet one. Okay, so you can see, guys, this is how to check the interface, guys. So right now in this Palo Alto firewall, you have the four uh, these things, guys. Interface, the Ethernet one, uh, one slash one, one slash two, one one slash three, and one slash four. So these are the four uh, Ethernet ports are available in this Palo Alto firewall. All are uh, gigabytes ports. Fine. Now, how to check the show interface like all if you want to see all. Okay. Just type show in, uh, interface details means it will show you the all. So all, I have assigned the already IP address to the, all the interfaces. You can see right this Ethernet one, one slash one. We have to tell the layer three interface management profile is touch and IP address is 1.2, 2.2 and 3.2 and uh, so 4.2. Okay, so four uh, IP address I have assigned it. Fine. So this is how how to check the interface. Fine. So let me show you uh, how to give the IP address for the interface. So before that, we sh we should uh, change the this thing as profile. Okay. So the profile already I have given with my name. So let's change with other name. OK, so uh, what I'm going to do. Set. Network. Interface. Ethernet. Ethernet one slash one. This is my layer three interface. OK, it will ask you details, guys. Don't worry, because if you type the question mark, it will ask you for the which interface. OK. So right now I want to give for the Ethernet one. OK, this is my uh, which layer this is. This is a layer one or layer two or what kind of interface or it is a virtual or it is a any full duplex or half duplex link. OK, this is my layer three interface. Okay. Uh, interface management profile is. My name already have given with my name. OK. Uh, same thing we can give for all the interfaces. This is ether, Ethernet uh, interface. One slash one, one slash two, and one slash three. Okay, so 
After this, you should give the command uh, comment because already it has been saved. Okay. So let me how to give the IP address now for your interfaces. Okay. So how to set give the IP address means set network okay. interface Ethernet. Okay. Uh, Ethernet one slash one. Okay. Layer, this is the layer three interface and IP address. So right now the IP address what I have assigned is uh, 1 dot 2, 192.168. This is IP address which is assigned 192 uh, 1.2 slash 24. You need not give the uh, subnet mask here. That is an advantage. No need to type 255.255.255.0. Okay, just type IP address and enter. Set network interface layer three. Okay, we have forgot to give the IP here. Okay, here you IP. Yeah. So now it has been accepted the IP address. So same thing if you check and uh, for Ethernet two and IP address would be uh, two dot one. I think two dot one. I think two dot two. Invalid IP of dot. Okay. okay, and same thing for uh, one more is I think three dot three dot three. You're following me, guys. See for. This thing for layer uh, two, we have given for the wrong interface. Okay, now it is not accept. Vishnu, Sonu, Pavitra, all people are there. Yes, sir. Yes, Taj. Taj. So for uh, fourth interface, I have not connected. We can see the topology, guys. So fourth interface, uh, I think I have not given because you know right now I am using this three router. What we are doing, we are giving just the IP address of this interface: Ethernet one, one slash one, one slash two, one slash three. That's it. We are not doing anything. Just checking the how to check the uh, IP address and. How to give the IP address for the interface for the Palo Alto? Yes. So can you yes. please increase the font size? Font size. Or let me check. Is it okay now? Watch it is okay now. Can you able to see right? Watch can you able to see now? Yes, sir. Because you know uh, the setting, I will I will do it uh, changes uh, maybe uh, tomorrow sessions. Okay, I think it is visible, right? Yes, sir, it's visible. We can see now. Okay, okay fine. Great. So now what we did now, so we have done some just IP address assigned. Okay. And then uh, how to make it is zone. Okay, how to uh, we have to tell them you are the inside zone because right now we are not uh, connecting to the any internet as if now because this is the first lab guys. The other reason I don't want to show uh, for the outside that is an un untrusted traffic interface. We're not going to connect it right now. We will connect uh, only for the inside zone, which are the interfaces IP address. We have given Ethernet one, uh, one, two, three and four. Just we have to tell them you are the zone inside. So how to do that? Just set 
If you give the question mark, it will show you the list of commands. Don't worry, it will help you same like your Cisco firewall. It will show you the commands. So here I'm going to set the zone, telling that you are the inside, inside network, and you are the layer three, okay, for ethernet. For set zone, inside layer two ethernet, Ethernet one slash one. Okay. I mean, just we are telling that this interface, you are the inside interface. And same thing we can give for just use the upper arrow, arrow mark key. Okay, it will repeat the command. The previous command, what you have given. So it will repeat the same command. So here I'll change uh, slash two, one slash two. And this also I'll put it into the your uh, zone inside and even for your three interface even for my four four is not there uh, just i'll give you for your just how to give this command okay so next what we have to do is so i think already we have said how to uh, check this interfaces details right you, you want to see means uh, show network Okay, interface Ethernet. Interface Ethernet. Okay, so we can see guys, for Ethernet one slash one, layer three, so this is, oh, we have given two IP addresses. And this guy also two IP address, three dot two. That it be, I think just for you people, to understand this, just I have given that IP address. So in 4.2, uh, also we have given the IP address. Okay. And for Ethernet 1 slash 2 and 3, we have given IP address. No, no issues. Okay. We'll do changes later. Okay. So let's go move on. Now, how to check the connectivity, guys? How to check uh, the ping the router which is connected? So here for this router, okay. Uh, let me check. I have given some IP address here. Just click on the icon. It will open your telnet, guys. You can see. So this is the telnet window. Okay. So I can able to log in. Enable. Same thing, guys. This is the real router, guys. What I am accessing. This we can connect it to the your Windows 10, Windows 7, all the PC servers we can able to connect it. The commands are same, what we can see. So let me open the font size. You want to increase the font size? Change setting, appearance, change font size to 16, bold. Okay, so now we can able to see, right? Okay, then how to check the command show IP interface brief. This is the Cisco router, guys. So I have not assigned any IP address okay, for this interface. For this router, I'm talking about this is my R1. What we can see on your screen, this is my R1 for this interface. So first thing is uh, we have to Give the IP address, same thing how we are giving in uh, router. This is my R1 router. Okay, so how to give the IP address? So interface, gigabytes Ethernet 1. Okay, this router is connected to the firewall. The IP address which I have given, like 1.1. Do you remember, guys? Uh, this is 1.2, we have given the IP address. Okay, so I will give IP address. This is 1.2, 1.1. Okay, so then we have you brochure. So this is done. You can see uh, we have given the IP address for this interface. Okay, then uh, we'll create some loopbacks here. Okay, 
a loop back starting from one. Okay. So I will start giving the loopback IP address range starting from say so 172 series. You can see the topology gas. Just open the topology, which I shared to the teams. Okay. In the teams which has shared the topology, please open the topology. We can see the R1. You can see the R1 router right on the, on the topology. So he has created around, I think, uh, many uh, these thing loopbacks. Right now, uh, I am going to create just one loopback here. This is enough. If you want, we can create a lot of loopbacks. Okay, I am giving you the IP address 172.10.1.1. Uh, and this is my plus C IP address. Okay, this is my 10.1. Okay, so right now I just have created the just uh, one loop back. Then this is done. Suppose same thing, do show IP interface brief. You can see just how uh, assigned one IP address which is connected. This is the interface which is connected for the Palo Alto firewall, which we can see on the screen. So which is connected for the Palo Alto firewall. Can you see the topology, guys? This is gigabytes one, which is connected for the Ethernet one slash one. So for one slash one, we have in the IP address 192.168.1.1. Okay. And just I have created one loop back just for testing. Okay. So just open the other router now. This is my R2. Okay, let me open change setting appearance change the font size so now so this is my r1 let me change the first host name this is my r2 sorry so just uh, the interfaces, same interfaces, we are going to connect it. We can see this is a gigabytes two. Okay, interface gigabytes two. Okay, I will give the IP address for this 192.168, I think 2.1. Do you remember? This is 2.1. Okay, and 2.2, we can see 2.2 we have given for Ethernet 1 slash 2 interface. Okay, and give the subnet mask. You can give no shut. Fine. So the error which you are getting, so in the real router also we'll get it the same thing. Okay. So let's do changes and uh, we'll do we'll create one look back here. Let's come out from this interface look back one. Uh, I'll give IP address. Uh, this guy is 172.20.1.1. The topology which I already shared to you guys, you can see the IP address. Uh, what what are the things I'm assigning? I'm assigning the IP address for the only for the routers. Fine. You can see do show IP interface brief. Okay, so as per the topology we have given, so right now I'm using just one loopback. I don't want to use all five loopbacks. Just one loopback is just for our testing. So let's open this my R3 router now. So what is the IP address we have given here for Ethernet 3? On 15, hostname, your R3. Interface, gigabytes 3. So IP address is 192.168.3.1. The IP address you can see in the topology. 
the topology which I have shared to you. Okay, then we do inversion. Then we'll create one loop back. Type one. This is one seventy two dot. IP address one seventy two dot. T dot one dot one. Loop back not required. Don't need to give the shutdown command. Just show IP interface B. Okay. One second, guys. So oh, I got the call. Okay, guys. So right now we uh, we have just we have given the IP address for this interface. So uh, can we able to ping to the router? Please check uh, for the firewall from the router three. I want to ping to the firewall. The firewall IP address uh, what we have given to the interface. I think three dot uh, three dot two. Okay, I think uh, okay. Now we can able to reach it right for the firewall, right? The Palo Alto which I have given. Okay, so I can able to ping it. So let's check with other router. Uh, this is my open. This is my R1. So do ping. So 192.168.3.1.2. Uh, yes, I can able to ping to my firewall. You can see, right? Check with uh, one guy which we have given the wrong IP address. I think this guy. Okay, do ping 192.168. Uh, this is 2.2. Okay, so we do have the reachability of all the interfaces. Let me show you this way. So this is my R2. R2 is this guy, guys. R2 is this guy. So I'm pinging to the firewall. The firewall IP address we have given and for router. So as you know that, so I told you before, so directly connected interface, you need not uh, do the any routing protocol. We do not do the any routing part. So directly it will ping. So as you can see, we can able to ping to the firewall, right? From router to your Palo Alto firewall, you can able to ping it, right? So now what I'm going to do now next part is, <clears throat> so now we shall, uh, I'll show you that how to ping from Palo Alto firewall, right? So right now I have entered into the Palo Alto firewall now. Right now I'm into the global configuration mode to ping. So we should come out from this first. Okay, exit. Then here, how to the command is, guys, please pay attention here. The command is ping host, okay, 192.168. Uh, I want to ping to the R1 router. R1 router IP address is 1.1, right? We can see destination host is unreachable. Okay, destination host is your unreachable. Okay, for that we have to give the, we have to enable your telnet 
you have to enable the SSH, you have to enable your ping. So then only it's going to ping your this thing, your router. So how to give this command? Let me show you that how to uh, activate that. I think we have not saved that one. Just we have given the IP address for the interface. Do you remember? Just we have given the IP address for the interface. Okay. And then, so once go to global configuration mode, you configure it will take to the configuration mode. Okay, one more we have to do a uh, virtual router default interface one and two. So we have to make this. This is the default one. So set network okay, virtual router interface virtual router default interface Ethernet one slash one. Let me show you here. Ethernet. One slash one. Okay. And same thing, just I'm setting a virtual router. Okay. So I want to create the virtual router so that I can have the communicate. As you know that we can able to ping from router to firewall, but not from firewall to router. This is what I am doing it. Okay, the same thing for three and four interface. Okay, after this, give the comment. Okay, to save these configurations. So how to check the interface, guys? Show network interface Ethernet. The commands. Don't worry. I will. I will send you the commands. So how to configure step by step? OK. Just wait, it will save in that uh, command. Duplicate address has been found. You can see uh, for these, it's showing two AP address. Suppose you notice. Because you know, when you check uh, the show interface, all the interfaces, so it's showing the two AP address. Do you remember? Show uh, network, I think, yeah. Show network. Uh, let me show you network profile by type. Just type this. Let's just let me check. Show network interface Ethernet. So we can see for these one slash one. So we have given this IP address. Okay. This IP address, which is the other reason is not saving that. Okay. So we'll uh, remove it later. Not required. I'm not going to save this configuration, guys. The saving it, just give the comment. C O M M I T. If you give comment means going to save it. Okay. Because you know, I am uh, preparing another lab for you because <laughs> So that you can uh, the basic lab. I'm not going to go for the uh, all uh, high end sessions. Later on, we'll do it. So even for the uh, Ethernet uh, one slash three interface. So I have given the repeated the same thing. Okay. So for that, we'll do it later. Now, right now, we'll jump for uh, this one. How to enable your these things, telnet, all in that. I think uh, we should remove the this IP address. Let's remove it.
Let me check, guys. Just I got this thing. So let me, guys, but the reason why it's not pinging from that set means we have to remove these first. Okay, so how to remove, uh, here uh, we have to give delete network, okay, Ethernet uh, interface, right? Uh, okay, interface, Ethernet, okay, that is, uh, what is that? One slash three, one slash three layer three, IP at 192.168. Uh, what is that? 4.2. Okay. Delete network interface 1 slash 3. Okay. IP address. No object to be deleted and okay. Well. Delete uh, zone I think I have been mining network layer three Ethernet three. Okay, so now it has been deleted. I think now it will work is covered. Is the let me show you. And why is not working? Show interface Ethernet link to code or two. Check for, I think, more. one. One also has given 2.2. Let me show you that. 2.2. Ethernet one. Okay, I think this deleted. The reason why it is repeating, we are not given the comment still. Because it's a lot of resource it takes for every time it takes time. The commands are very lengthy command. But once, if you practice twice, you practice, I think you can able to do it. It is all, all, they are all. So it's showing for the interface, virtual default router 2.2 or interface 1.2 has overlap submit with the 2.4 interface. Duplicate address, because I have repeated the same command and then it's showing on that one. So, so Ethernet uh, 1 slash 2. So interface Ethernet Ethernet one slash two. Okay, if you want to check only one interface, guys, we just we have to show. You can see uh, show interface show network interface Ethernet Ethernet one slash two. Okay, you can see this has no issues. Okay, and what about one slash one? Over one slash one, this issue. Okay, we have to remove this IP address. This is 2.2. .2. We have to remove this IP address. Now check for 3. The 3 also we have to remove 4.2. Okay. And for the 4, the 4 has no problem. The problem is for 1 and 3. Okay. So 
is not getting the is showing some error. You can see if you type uh, okay, uh, one slash one layer three two dot two. Okay, no object to be deleted. Okay, so now once if you type this, let me check whether I can able to ping from from this router. So how to ping guys here? Pin host 192.168. Okay, uh, 2.1. We have to keep the comment that there is. Uh, until unless we have done some changes, right? We have deleted. Okay, that's the reason uh, it's showing unable to save your the changes what you have made. Guys, are you there, all of you? And today I'm not going to keep the break, guys. Just will continue till 5:30. Can you on the camera, guys? Why you people are roaming here and there? I can see uh, Rahul is moving here and there. Hi, Taj. Ah, hi, Anshika. As uh, a request to you, just do not let them turn off their camera. Because I'm going now, okay? Going now. Okay, please on the camera, guys. Don't go uh, anywhere because you know I'm not going to give the break. Yeah, now. and I would be going through the recordings. I I will oh. come to know who is uh, paying attention or not. Yeah, yeah, sure. sure. And they can grab their tea and come here. That's it. Okay. Uh, this is a very basic uh, the thing with what I have showed to you guys. Okay, so we, as you know that we from the router, so I have the reachability to all the pieces, right? Well, all the pieces I can able to reach it. And same thing for this router also, I can I have the reachability. Right. So now thing is uh, it's not giving the some issues for this thing because we have given the wrong IP address for the interfaces. Okay, for that, what we are going to do now. Okay, so we are going to uh, restart your firewall. Okay, uh, which will erase this thing because I'm going to stop this firewall now. So then I will start once again so that it will erase because it's showing the commit error. That's the reason I'm going to restart the firewall. Then what I'm going to do now, so we'll check for the GUI base now. So let's start with GUI based. Let me on this now. Okay, uh, one more thing is uh, I have not added the one more router. So let me add as per the topology what I shared to you. I am going to add it. Okay, in the web browser Chrome, I am using it. From the Chrome, I am uh, accessing your Palo Alto firewall. 
just right click add node then we can see uh, there's a list of palo alto firewall many things we can able to do it guys you can see right right now i have not installed any this thing guys okay i have not install any uh, software is all in that right now i am go going to just use the cisco csr 1000v okay so it will ask you the uh, how many nodes you want right now i want just one okay as we can see by default this router it will take uh, 3 gb of your memory and uh, the cpu by default it will take one but i want to give two because it's running on my server no issues, it will open fast. Okay, so now you can able to let me open this. So save. We can see now, guys, just image is same, guys. Don't think this is different, this is different. Both are same. Just image, if you want to change, we can change the image. Edit the image, uh, we can see the images. Lot of images, but I have taken different images. If you want, we can change the, this thing for you, for your convenience. So let me take the same one. Okay. So here, let it connect to four gigabytes for. to okay there's no interface is showing you know guys the reason is uh, i have not started the palo alto okay so i want to connect because there is no port exist here we connect i think palo alto 3 One, two, three, and four should be there. I'm going to st stop all the rotors, guys. Okay, so that uh, I'll show you uh, right from the scratch. Okay, so how to connect all those things. Okay, so I think now I can able to connect. Panel two, three. So I'm going to use that new topology, guys. Okay, I don't want to use this topology. So that same topology, what I share to you, same thing we'll do it right from the scratch here. So let it make it this short. Okay. So let me just uh, node. Right click, just select the node. So it will uh, open the uh, like how many you want. Then I'll show you the how to deploy the Palo Alto firewall. Okay. So already I installed the Palo Alto. So I want just one, two CPU with the four GB RAM and four ports. I think I don't know how many ports so we can do. Just we really go for eight ports. And number of one, you can see the symbol. CPU by default, as in as I told you that it will take 4 GB of your RAM. Okay, we can see this is the version Palo Alto 904. And console is your 
virtual and RDP. Okay, so right now I'm using right from the scratch gas. Okay, now I want the router. Okay, to type Cisco. I have installed Cisco CSR 1000V. The blue color which is which are showing here, we can see right. This all things which I, I have not installed. Okay, today I will show you the if possible. If you have time, means I will show you how to install your Cisco AC firewall, right? Which you are done in packet tracer. Same thing here also. We are doing it. I will show you here is different here. Right now I have installed only Cisco CSR router. Oh, I want uh, four, and this is my CSR uh, Cisco CSR. Thousand B. I want four. Uh, virtual. I want just one. One one is enough for them for me as as if now. Okay. And the uh, image file like we can select like whichever image you want. For router, switcher, desktop, gear, XI, Express Gateway, your file load balancer, firewall. Okay. This is a Cisco router. We'll go for the Cisco. Uh, there's a lot of we can see guys, Cisco load balancer, Kali Linux. Like whichever image you want, you can take. This is a Palo Alto. So let's take Cisco routers. Now we can see it's loading all the image files. Okay, now I'll show you how to connect this. So once it has been done, okay, so then I'll show you how to connect this one. So as you know that previously when I'm trying to connect it, so it was not uh, connecting to the Palo Alto firewall, right? No problem. OK, so now it has been loaded, guys. You can see uh, rotor one, two, three, four. OK, I'm using the four rotors now. So let it put it down in this way. This is my rotor one, and this is my rotor two. This is my, sorry, uh, this guy is three, and this guy is four. OK, so one more thing I want to tell you, guys. When you want to connect the connections, when the device is on, the firewall or router is on, it will not allow you to connect. Remember, guys, when it is on router, it is not allowing, asking you just to connect because, you know, until and is half is not going to connect. So now all the devices are half now, right? So now you can able to connect. This I am going to connect for your Palo Alto one slash, so we can see we have the eight ports, which has selected the eight ports, right? So my old firewall, Palo Alto, right? Or firewall, it doesn't have uh, that much of these things, right? I'll connect one slash one to one slash one, and gig uh, gigabytes one, okay? And this guy to Palo Alto two. We can see the this one, right? Plug connect to the another device. Three and this is your four. Fine. So, so as per the diagram, we have connected. So let it push this back again so that will not get any confusion. Okay, the first thing is. How to on the devices, guys? Just right click. Okay, just right click the option, it will show you. Then start. Okay, so it's going to start your Palo Alto firewall because I'm showing right from scratch, guys. Okay, for the Palo Alto firewall, so it's logging, it will show you the issue. If you keep on logging, means it will allow you to uh, firewall. 
okay for the real firewall guys real devices so it it will not be like this for the real firewall okay at the same time so let me on this all guys four routers okay so right now i have on all my devices now we can see still two devices is uh, not at on can you see it will get on and let's enter into the exis exi because you know so it has been logged out automatically so if you are not using the esxi server for a long time because inside we are running the evng and jns right so again i have to log in once again just i am logging it is not required to log in here You can see I'm just logging to my uh, VMware uh, ESXi server. So right now we can see I have on my Windows 10 and E and GNS3 version machine also. And GNS right now I'm not using it. Okay, uh, later on uh, I'll show you that GNS. So right now I'm using only uh, your EVNG and uh, and accessing our EVNG remotely. Now we can see that. Like on this, let me delete this. Yeah. Not getting connected. Okay, so now uh, all the devices is on. Now you can see the color change, right? It will color change to your blue color that indicate that uh, the router is booting. So first I'll open my Palo Alto. Just click on the icon. Okay, it will open your ultra uh, win. Okay, so as we can know, it asking the user and password admin. The password is The number of times it's
very carefully we have to give the password for the firewall guys this is not the cisco packet is all in that so once if you forgot the password so it's very difficult to log in again and again okay that is be very careful for giving the password If you keep on entering means it will allow you guys. I think the first time when you log in, have noticed is allowed, right? Do you remember? Okay, can you notice guys here? It's asking the world password to change because I enter many times, right? 10 to 15 times I've entered. Guys, you have to pay some attention, guys, here. Okay, it's asking now, it's asking the world password. So, world password I have entered. Okay, new password I will give same one. Confirmation the password. Okay, now it will take you to the this thing. As we can see, so number of failed attempts since the last successful login. So your device is still configuring the default admin account, uh, this credentials. So the, please change the password okay, uh, prior to your deployment. Okay, so if you want, we can change the password or else we can leave it as it is. Done. Okay, okay, show system info. Okay, this is the commands for uh, show system. Okay, right now uh, IP address we are not yet assigned. Okay, so nothing we are assigned. So con 50. Okay, so network interface. Internet. Show network interface Internet one. Okay, so now everything has been removed, guys. Suppose if you check, okay, uh, everything it has been removed. Okay, so what I'm what I'm going to do, guys. Okay, the first thing is. We will configure the, your firewall router itself first. Okay, so this is a new fresh router, guys. Okay, we will not configure anything. So just we'll configure right from scratch. Is that clear, guys? Guys, okay, right from scratch. Again, I'm doing it for you guys. Okay. So let me open the setting, just increase the font size to 150 and in color. Yes, so now it is visible as. Yes. The first command, what I'm going to do, guys, uh, first we need to change your uh, the Palo Alto file name. Okay. Uh, how to change? I think I told you, right? Okay, set uh, device configuration system host name. I will give uh, 
पैलो ऑल्टो जस्ट आई एम चेंजिंग द जस्ट फाइल होस्ट नेम सी इट विल नॉट चेंज डायरेक्टली गैस कैन यू नोटिस इट विल नॉट चेंज डायरेक्टली ओके सो फॉर दैट वी हैव टू सेव दिस ऑल टू सेव वी हैव टू गिव द कमांड कमेंट so then only you can able to save it comment job was not queued okay so we not at finish since i said to so we have to keep commit force i think it will not save you because it's showing some error Okay, at the same time, okay, let it it is taking time. Okay, so let's give the IP address for your router. is enable let me change the font size Okay, right now I am entered to the router, guys. I am going to just give this is my R one. So as we can see in the topology, okay, uh, this is my R one. So what we can see, just I want to give the IP address for these interfaces. Okay, can you see? The, just I want to give the IP address. I am not going to for the router. I think you know same. This is the uh, router which I am going just I am in the IP addresses. So first thing is I will go to interface gigabytes one. Okay, I will give the IP address. This guy is one ninety two one sixty eight one dot one two five five two five five dot zero. Okay, just give no chat. Okay, so just I have given the IP address for the interfaces. Then I have given a no chat done command. Right. So now I am going to create the your loopback. So loop back one. Okay, I will give the IP address. Loop back IP address is one seventy two dot ten dot one dot one. This is also my class C IP address. Okay, so this guy is done. So let me open my router two. increase the font size
to configure. This is my R2 router. Okay, then interface gigabytes one. You can see topology. Okay, uh, this is 192. 168. Uh, this is 2.1. Is it correct topology? Vishnu, what I am typing? See the topology which I shared to you. Is it the IP address what I am giving is correct? Check. The IP address what I am giving. Is it correct IP address what I am? So interface outer two, right? No, are you there? Yes, touch. <laughs> so what are the topology yesterday I shared you the same topology what I have connected? IP address you can check there. I'm asking me whether I'm uh, giving the as per the topology IP addresses. Yes, it was 172 series. Yes. Okay, so enable first change of your This guy is still loading. I have noticed, guys, it's showing ICKM VPN is off on and off. This by default, uh, this guy has got capability for high end VPN configuration. Okay, so go to global configuration mode. So interface. Gigabytes one. So IP address one ninety two one sixty eight three dot one. So here also I'll create one loop back. Loop back one. IP address one seventy two dot thirty dot one. Dot, dot one. Okay, so this is my uh, router three, I think. Yeah. Okay, do show IP interface B. So we can see just we have assigned IP address. So let's check with this R4 router. Open the open SSH internet. No, I don't know the configure the initial configurations. Just uh, increase the font size. Okay, enable and Name. This is R R four interface gigabytes one. So what is the IP address for this? Four dot one. Shut. So interface. Interface loopback one. 
This is 172.40.1.1. There's a low bag not required. Okay, show IP interface brief. So we can see this all the commands. Uh, this all the interface we have given for the routers. Okay, so the router job is done. Just we assign the IP address for the all uh, interfaces. Please, guys, please on your camera because no one is on on the camera means you are roaming there. Please on your camera. I don't know why. How many people are listening there? You're following, right? Okay. Okay. So now done. Successfully has been uh, done by the basic configuration. What we did. Okay. Now we can see now it has been changed to admin the Palo Alto. Just we have changed the Palo Alto uh, file name. The first job when you on your Palo Alto firewall, guys. I'm repeating once again for you guys. Okay. So I want to uh, complete these basic configurations. You know, a lot of things I want to explain, like static routing, RIP, OSPF, okay, and VPN. If possible, I'll, I'll configure the BGP in uh, Palo Alto Firewall. Okay, guys, please pay attention. Okay. So first thing is I'm going to set the uh, this one management profile in the Palo Alto Firewall. Right now, I have logged into the Palo Alto Firewall. OK, ne uh, set network. Profile interface management profile, so I will give my name. OK, because uh, I am the owner for this reason, I'll give my name. So I'm going to allow ping from external. It's the first job I'm going to do it. OK, this has been done. OK, so after this. So. We have to give the IP address for the Palo Alto firewall. Do you remember how to give the uh, Palo Alto firewall IP address? If you check, what is the IP address? Just IP and uh, uh, show uh, system system info. See, I have not configured any IP address for the Palo Alto firewall. Right. For the Palo Alto firewall, I have not given the IP address. Right. So how to give the IP address? I think I have. I told you before starting the session. Uh, just IP and the uh, uh, submit. Yes. Just IP and. Uh, I mean the command IP and then the rest. So right now it is not configured with any IP. Can you remember? Let me uh, find it. My browser is down. You can see. Uh... Yes, for now you're telling something. IP and uh, hmm? address and submit mask. IP and set. Address. Anything else? IP. Who, who will tell this? I think starting I told you, right? Right now, 
We are not configured the IP address for the panel also. So you see, show uh, system info. Who will tell this? I think you people are not following. I think we just uh, guys take it seriously, guys. Otherwise, it will be a big problem for you guys. Please pay some attention here. Like IP address and X mask. Your voice is not audible. Can you? You are using headphone or how you are talking? Am I audible now? Hello? Yes. Uh, Taj, you have to give some IP address and net mask. Uh... For the Palo Alto Fireball, we are not giving any IP address. Right? Okay. So this command, uh, why I'm asking? Because, you know, this command, I didn't taught you because you know the reason I'm asking means just to focus on this training, guys. This is very important training. Okay, so please pay some attention, guys. Okay, now I'm going to give the your Palo Alto firewall uh, this thing, uh, which already I have uh, configured this thing. I'll show you that. Uh, it is there uh, in my desktop. Yeah, you can see, guys. You can able to see my screen, right? This is how we have to give guys because you know this is the IP address how to give the command. Fine. Okay, so I want to give this uh, 50 for this guy. Just copy this command and paste it there. Copy and open the terminal. Okay. You make it big for you. So control C, control V is not working, guys. We have to type this command. Can you see, right? The command which is there, how to give the IP address for the Palo Alto. This IP address, we, uh, globally, we can able to use it. This is the command. You can see, right? Okay. So please check. I will type this command. Okay. I will set. Uh, I'm not here. We have to enter into the global configuration mode. Okay, then set device configuration system IP address. Okay, IP address is I will give this IP address is 192.168 AI. Okay, uh, zero dot. I'll give uh, easy to remember the firewall. This thing, uh, I will give this guy is 100. Okay, and net mask is 255, 255, 255 .0. Okay, the command is there on the screen, guys. You want to you can check so what is the default gateway is uh, 192.168.0.1. 0.1. Okay, and what type of IP address is this? This is my static IP. 
Okay, so IP address is done. If you want to give the uh, DNS also, DNS also we can able to give. So set device configuration system. Okay, uh, DNS setting server primary uh, 8.8.8.8. .8 .8 okay. And uh, secondary, I will give 8.8.8.9. Okay, so we have done with the assigning the IP address. Fine, just give the comment now. So now it's going to save this IP address for the Palo Alto. So this IP address using your any Chrome, like Chrome or Firefox or Mozilla Firefox, we can be able to access here your GUI, GUI interface. Understood, guys? Using that, we can be able to access your GUI based. So now, you, now we'll try to access the uh, GUI based uh, Palo Alto Firewall. Okay, so once it has been done, we'll check uh, how to check this one, guys. Show system information, right? So exit from here. The, it has been saved now. Exit, show system info. Right? Can you see right? It has taken the IP address, right? The IP address which is there. Now it has been accepted of this firewall. So this firewall, what we can see. Okay, so now we can able to see, right? The IP address which has seen it, it can able to access. The Palo Alto firewall, this IP address I have given 0 0.100. So let's check for the, in the Chrome, try to open my into GUI based interface. This is 0 0.100. Uh, it should open. Yeah, it's opening now. It will show you the error. The connection is not secure. Okay, but still it will accept, guys. Don't worry. So HTTPS. Okay, 192.168. 1.100. So it has to open your GUI based interface. And steps are same. The command what I have given. The commands are same. The same thing. This is how we uh, uh, access your GUI based interface. Okay. If you are not accessing here, okay. So we'll open your this thing. ESXi. From there, I have already uh, opened the Windows 10. From there, I'm trying to access. So here, I have already opened my Windows 10. Let's open from here. This is one more Windows I'm running virtual machine inside. He is asking the password. Okay, so now I have logged in here. So let's try from this side. Keep trying, guys, because you know I'm trying to open your. I want to show you the GUI interface for the Palo Alto. It's not opening, and that's the reason I'm trying in my uh, uh, Windows 10 from here. Let's open the web browser here. It's not opening here. Let's check the web browser here. Same IP address 192.168.1. 
what happened guys you people are getting exhorted i don't know why i, I could notice i could notice the prano is battery is down <laughs> You know, because you have the patient, guys, because, you know, uh, we are also facing some challenges to set up the lab for you because uh, I have the setup for these Palo Alto, these things. Uh, definitely will come out with the good solutions. Don't worry, we'll, we'll do it. We'll do that for you guys. Let's open from this side. See, uh, yesterday I have logged in here, right? And this IP address is different, guys. This IP address I have given uh, 58, 75, I think. I'm sure it's not going to open. So this time I will give this guy is 100. Let it open. Uh, it has to open, guys. Okay. Okay. So now we'll configure uh, the Palo Alto firewall, guys. So we have given the IP address now. Okay. So we are done with these things. Now we'll continue for uh, the lab which I planned for you today. Okay. The router configuration is done. So now I'm going to explain you about uh, your. Uh, how to create the interface service profile. Okay, so the command is set. Okay, network. Okay, now we have to enter the global configuration. Config. Okay, set a network profile, interface management profile. I will give with my name. Okay. Ping, yes. Okay. So we have done with this thing, guys. So now give the comment. So it's going to save my uh, this man because I'm managing this device. That's the reason I'm giving my name. So now how to check the that is done. The next thing is I'm going to configure the uh, password. I don't want to give the password. Now, how to configure the IP address for your Palo Alto firewall interfaces? That will do it. Okay, let's check loading. Okay, done. So now the IP address, what I have given, is done. If you want to check the Palo Alto firewall, see carefully. Show. System info 0 0.1 check. Can I able to ping? How to ping, guys? Ping host 192.168. Can I ping to my gateway? Oh, gateway is not pinging. But the reason is not opening. Let me check what are the issues. Let's check to. What is the gateway? Let me check. Zero dot one. Okay. It's not reachable. So let's see why is or else we have to change the IP address to something else. Anyhow, okay. So now what we'll do? Just we'll assign IP address now rather than uh, wasting our time. 
So how to give the IP address for your Palo Alto firewall, guys? Okay. The first thing is set network. I'm giving the IP address for the interface. Like how we'll give the IP address. We'll go to the interface and give the IP address, right? So here we have to create the uh, profile. Then we have to uh, give the IP address. Okay. And uh, set network, interface, Ethernet, Ethernet 1, interface, that is layer, layer 3, layer 3, okay, interface management profile, touch. Okay. And same thing for all the interfaces. Two, Right now we have I have connected with uh, only four router, right? Four router I want to give. Okay, so this is done. Just how uh, this thing I have done with this thing. Now I am going to assign the IP address for each interfaces. Okay, just I am creating the interface management profile with my name and that interfaces I am. Uh, for that interface, I'm assigning as a management interface. So now I'm giving the IP address, guys. So network interface, Ethernet, Ethernet 1 slash 1. This is my layer 3. And IP address is 192.168. Uh, this is 1.2 okay, slash 24. Okay. Done. This is how how to give the IP address for the interface. Okay, so the rest of the things just need to change the interface name and this is 1.2, this is 1.1, 1.2. Okay, one other is, this is 2.2. Okay, another guys, uh, this is 3. This is 3.2. Another guy is interface equal 4. This is 4.2. Okay. So this is how we have how to give the IP address for the interface. Okay. Once if you are done, give the comment. So is going to save this IP address for the interfaces. Okay, so as it will show you some error. Okay, please notice. So interface Ethernet one slash one has no zone configuration. It has to show that error. Let's check. Okay, guys, can you notice here, guys? So as I told you that, okay, has been no zone configured here. Okay, now we are going to configure the zone. So I think last time I told you, right, uh, set zone inside, okay, so inside network layer three for Ethernet one. Okay, same thing for Ethernet two. Ethernet 3 and Ethernet 4. So right now we are using only for uh, this thing Ethernet. Then comment. Okay. So after that, after that, I think we have given set network virtual router default interface uh, Ethernet 1 1 of uh, 1 slash 1. That we have to do it now. Okay, still is showing has no virtual router configured. So now we are going to configure the virtual uh, router set network uh, virtual router 
okay, for the interface. So for a virtual router interface, uh, I think default. Okay, so default interface Ethernet one and two and three and four. It's just an assigning the uh, virtual router default for all. Okay, so once it has been done, okay, then how to how to check? Show network. Okay, uh, interface Ethernet. If you want to check one by one, give slash one by one. Ethernet, Ethernet one by one. You can say right just to be assigned the IP address. Right. So now you know 1.2 is connected to 1.1 for the router. Can you check the ping? It should ping, right? Directly connected. Ping host 192.168.1.1, uh, which is connected to the router. So it will not ping because we are not enable the ping. So the other reason is not going to ping you. Fine. Okay, so now what we have to do it, I think we have not uh, zone we are configured. Let me say once again, comment. So we are not enable the ping this thing. So now we'll do that. So let's check whether it will ping now. Showing some error. What about from the router? Let's check. This is my ping 192, 1.2. Okay, from the router, I can able to ping, right? Let's check with the other router. So ping, two dot two. Yes, I have the reachability, right? Let's check with other router. This is my router three. So ping 192, one, ping 192, 168, 3.2, oh. wrong IP address. Okay, so 3 is pinging, now what about fifth row, fourth router? The ping 192.168.4.1. Okay, so I have the reachability, right? Perfect. Okay. Now the issue is with the Palo Alto firewall. So I need to we need to check that what is the issue. Okay. So let's do that. So I think virtual we have done. Okay, if you type show uh, system info. So we have set the default gateway and statically we have done it and IP address 192.160.1. Okay, what we have given model number. Okay, let's check. So, it will network profile. 
interface internet internet one of one okay one of two i'm just checking the ip address for the interfaces whether we have given as per our requirement accordingly okay perfect so no problem with the ip address okay so then show network interface network profile the interface management profile touch okay so ping is yes we have given okay fine ping is in Now it is 520. What is the time now? Is it all are there, right? Yes, sir. You're following me, right, guys? Yes. Don't worry, guys. We'll do it. Okay. You can don't worry because online training, this thing lab part. It takes time to understand the concept. <clears throat> okay. Rukhaya, you're following. Guys, you're following or what? Yes, yes, Taj. Okay. Great. Shall I continue or shall I stop and uh, start doing from tomorrow, because this very basic thing, what I'm doing, just assigning IP address and regarding the Palo Alto, how to set the IP address for the Palo Alto, that's it. Very basic thing, what I'm giving this training. Don't worry, guys. I think there, there is a, some, uh, uh, this thing, I will try to check these things. Uh, if you want, let me say that if, uh, tomorrow we will continue the sessions. Tomorrow uh, I will take online. Okay, I'll set up all the lab because you know we'll tomorrow I'll go slower than today. Is it okay? Okay, sir. But Anjali, Rahul, Pavitras, Ashwita, Dikshar, Rukhaya. Rida. Shall I continue or shall I uh, start? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do it tomorrow. Yes. Yes. You want me to do from tomorrow? So uh, tomorrow, uh, 9 30, can I start? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes. Yes, sir. <laughs> 